In November of 2005, my wife was diagnosed with breast cancer. Obviously, my life changed at that point. We were fortunate because she was detected early, um, and she's a survivor now, but you have to create a system such that all people, whether it be breast cancer or any other kind, can get tested, can get screened early. Well, for me personally, I'm a cancer survivor, uh, and um, both of my parents have passed away from cancer. There's some people out there that I know personally and, and who I've been in contact with who really don't have very good health care at all and how this has affected their, their family, their livelihoods, their, their homes, bankruptcy. Uh, so I think it's very important that, that all Americans have affordable health care. Health care reform is so important that people that cannot uh, afford to have these screenings and these, uh, and these tests done can have these tests done. Uh, you know, we don't want the choice to be health over savings. Uh, and that's a reality for so many people in this country right now. Uh, Michael Trehan, a teenager from Indiana, was diagnosed with leukemia. His parents were told that they had to raise $500,000 before the treatment could go on. Before his family could raise the money, Michael died. When you hear their stories, when you know what they're going through, when you know it makes no sense just to cut someone off because of the luck of the lottery, they got cancer. We need health care reform in this country. Uh, when someone contracts cancer, the treatment for it is very, very expensive. Uh, and therefore, there's a need to raise money for the treatment of cancer, for cancer research, to help wipe out this disease in our lifetime. I think that's where we talk about uh, serving our country, serving our fellow man, this is a great opportunity to care soon because it affects and it touches everyone's lives. To use a basketball analogy, now is not the time to play zone defense. We need to pick up full court and press and keep the pressure on.